my name is Diane Devitt, and I'm very happy to be here with you today live from the FICP Annual Conference in Austin, Texas. I was asked to discuss a question with you, one of my favorite topics, why should meeting professionals take creative risk? For a lot of reasons. But I'm gonna start off first by sharing with you, some of you might know Abraham Maslow and Maslow's hierarchy of needs. On the very top of that triangle is creativity and playfulness. So what exactly is creativity, which I have spent my life embracing? I identify creativity as the new power. Creativity is listening to that little voice in your head and trusting it, and trusting that the solution that comes to you is the right one. Did you hear me say trust? Because in order to embrace creative risk, you need to trust yourself. Creativity is, is, is the solution that flows through you. So when you're in a planning mode and you know the objectives and goals and you know what has to be accomplished, that foundation and that strategy is what helps your brain think to turn something into a creative experience, a, a meeting design concept, the engagement part of it. Because at the end of the day, creativity is all about solutions. I'll say that again. Solutions and finding the answer, finding the way to do something unique, different, and most of all, effective. Because in the world of creativity, it's all about human connections and human emotions and touch points and surprising me, surprising me to the point where I'm giving you an emotional reaction. So when planners are faced with taking a creative risk, it's looking at your agenda, it's analyzing your theme, it's going back to your objectives and goals, it's looking for what I call trigger words that are going to stand out to help you then take that intangible vision and turn it into a tangible, live, interactive experience. So let me give you an example about this. One of my uh, students actually worked in a risk management department. And, and as part of this risk management department, she had to plan a lunch for the risk management team. She took a risk by actually having the game risk as a centerpiece on the table. Now that might not sound like a lot to you, but in the scheme of things, it was a big risk for her because no one had done anything creative up to that point. Now what that led into was the concept of trust because the stakeholder, the VP, the director who she was planning that experience for, saw the interaction, saw people start to play, saw people talking about the game and do you remember playing the game as you were young? And that was a successful creative risk that she took because she stretched herself to the point of not telling anyone and as simple an effect as a game brought about enhanced interaction and engagement. Most of all, the next time she was producing and planning a meeting, her boss turned around and said, what else do you have up your sleeve? Yeah. So sometimes in the planning world, people have so much on their minds ahead of the live event that the planner doesn't have the time to go and say to the stakeholder, to the senior VP, to the CEO, hey, I have this great idea to illustrate your point, to illustrate your message. But that doesn't negate the opportunity for the planner to go on site with a shopping bag full of props and to be prepared so that when the attention on site is there, that she or he can't share that concept with the person and get permission to do it. That is what I want you to do. That is what I am asking you to do, is to take that creative risk and trust yourself in knowing that the vision that you have, you have, in knowing the content, in knowing the, the names of the sessions, in knowing the people, that you have the power to take that and bring that intangible vision to life. That's creativity. 
that's taking creative risk. Go out and take one every single day.